What's up guys, Harry here and welcome to episode 2 of the Hybrid Showdown. Congratulations to Fishy FIFA, uh, you guys voted him the winner of the last squad builder we did. Uh, so thanks to everyone that voted. Anyway, um, I'm not going to go in depth on all the rules because I explained that in the first episode. Uh, so if you're unsure what this series is about, uh, check the description, I've written a bit about it down there. Uh, but for now, let's get straight into my team. Starting off, uh, one thing I should mention, we have a 100k budget or thereabouts. I believe Fishy FIFA's team is quite a bit less. And I think mine's just over because of a few position cards I didn't account for originally. And uh, we had to use MNEK, Santa Cthulhu, and Felipe Santana. Starting off in goal, I went for Diego Alves. This guy's a really, really good goalkeeper. He's got 91 diving, 90 reflexes, uh, an absolute ninja in the goal. Those 90 reflexes and 91 diving means he can get to every single ball uh, that he shot him. And he's just really, really solid. And I really do uh, enjoy using him in goal. I feel very safe when the opponent's got an attack because I have him in the net. Moving on to my left centre back, I think we'll go for first. Um, I've got PK. I was originally put off this guy because he only has 62 pace, uh, but he's 86 defending and 81 heading and very high strength. I don't know the exact stat of it, uh, but he does have a very high strength rating and he's six foot four. Means he's an absolute beast and uh, in game, 62 pace is all right, I guess, for a player of his stature. Next centre back is the first player uh, we had to use, which was Felipe Santana. He's got 81 pace, 77 defending, and 84 heading. He, in my opinion, is the new David Luiz. He's so overpowered. If you haven't used him already, I don't know why. Uh, if you haven't heard of how good he is, then you're missing out. Go ahead and get him in your team, and you're guaranteed uh, to basically outpace any striker. And he's just really, really strong. It stands six foot four as well, so two six foot four defenders. Uh, he's really, really good to have, and he makes up for the pace that PK uh, doesn't have uh, with his 81. Unbelievable pace. Right back, got Fagner. Uh, a bit of a weird name, but he's got 85 pace, uh, 69 shooting, 74 passing, 77 dribbling, 72 defending, and 60 heading. He's 85 pace, it's basically the only stat that matters, though. Uh, that's about all I can say from him. He's got three star skills, which is all right, and he's a very, very solid silver, uh, Brasilva right back. Uh, there's quite a few expensive ones, obviously you can get, go and get Cicinho, uh, but this guy played very well for me and he also gets a very good link with uh, Felipe Santana. My left back, I've gone for, actually I couldn't need to change the formation, I went for Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba is a very good player, however he does cost 18k I believe, yeah I paid 18k for this one, uh, but he is a very pricey left back and for an 81 rated card, I don't really know if he's worth it, he's got 90 pace, 81 dribbling and 74 defending. Which are some very, very solid stats, but I really don't think he's worth uh, that price tag. My first centre mid is a player I really, really enjoyed using last year. He's called Iango Falke. Some of you might not have heard of him, but he is a four-star skilling BPL silver. He's got 77 pace, 65 shooting, 70 passing, 81 defending. Oh, sorry, 88 dribbling. It, what am I talking about? 81 dribbling, 39 defending, and 42 heading. And he's a pretty well-rounded player. His stats obviously aren't that great, but he plays quite far above them. And he's a very fun player to use, obviously, with the four-star skills. Moving on to my next centre mid, I am using Santi Cathola. This is another player that we have to use for the team. But he's very, very good. He's got 78 pace, 78 shooting, 84 passing, and 86 dribbling, uh, 48 heading, and 61. Oh, there's 47 defending. Jesus, I'm messing up the stats a lot, aren't I? 47 defending and 61 heading. He plays really, really well. He's got four-star skills. 5 star weak foot which means his dribbling is absolutely incredible. I would have really liked to play him in centre forward uh, but unfortunately just didn't fit in with the rest of the team. So unfortunately he is um, sideline, well not, not sideline, but uh, forced to play back in the central midfielder spot. My last centre mid you would have probably already seen, but it's Goetze. Again another centre attacking mid, all my centre mids are centre attacking mids which does kind of hurt my team a bit. Uh, but he's very very good, he's got 82 pace, 71 shooting, 79 passing and 89 dribbling. Uh, I'm really glad that he's getting the recognition I think he deserves in FIFA 13. He's a very, very good young prospect for Borussia Dortmund and he only had like an 82 rating last year I think but 84 this year I do believe represents how well he's been playing in the Bundesliga. My centre forward that I've gone for is Lucas Podolski. I haven't used this guy before uh, because I'm generally put off players that only have 3 star skills and 2 star weak foot but this guy's incredible. 87 pace, 87 shooting. His left foot is an absolute cannon. Literally shoot from like maybe anywhere within 40 yards. You're guaranteed to get it on target. And most of the time, if I'm honest, it goes right into the top corner. 80 dribbling and 68 passing. All right. Uh, again, three star skills. Would have loved it if he had four star skills, but uh, a really, really good player. And if you kind of put off by three star skillers, I'd recommend giving this guy a go because you never know. You might like him just like I did. My first striker is a very obvious choice. I've uh, gone for Wellington. This guy is really, really sweaty, but, you know, I've still chosen to use him. He's got 92 pace, 79 shooting, 67 passing, 
76 dribbling and 78 heading. He stands 5 foot 9, but for some reason his heading still feels really, really good. And that kind of contributes to him being a very sweaty player. He's got four star skills and four star weak foot, so he can kind of pass off as a skiller. But yeah, let's be honest, he's very, very sweaty. My final player, uh, you would have obviously seen, and it's pretty obvious, but it's Emanike, the final player that we had to use for this team. This guy. Oh my god, this guy. Um, I haven't actually used him before, I don't know why. Purely because he, oh, mainly because he has three star skills, that's the reason why. Uh, he's got four star weak foot, stands six foot tall, but his in game stats, oh, have a look at them if you haven't already. He's got 90 pace, his shooting, it says 78, he's got some like 90 shot power, uh, finishing it up in the 80s, and he's just absolutely unbelievable. His strength is in the 90s as well, and he's just an absolute tank. If you could ever use the phrase tank on a player uh, more than he can, I'd like to hear it, because this guy is the epitome of an absolute tank. That is my team done, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I will quickly let you listen to Fishy Beaver's opinions and review of this team that I built, and then we'll finish up with a few nice goals. Alright lads, fish free for it. So um Harry's squad has, looks absolutely fantastic. The two centre backs are absolutely solid together. You got PK is a huge unit. Fleet Santana is six foot four as well and he's a very pacey. Diego Alves is a fantastic goalkeeper. Um the right back, Fagner, I believe it is, uh, I don't know um how he is to play with because I haven't used him yet, but Jordi Albert is extremely pacey. Three centre mids look absolutely fantastic. The only problem I can see there is none of them are really defensive, so um, you might be caught on the counter attack a little bit. Podolski is an absolute beast, that left foot of his is beast. Two strikers, I have them same strikers as well. Very sweaty, very good strikers overall. His squad is extremely good, looks like a very good squad. So um, yeah, congrats on that, Harry, looks like a really good squad. So thanks for that review, Fishy FIFA. I'm now going to move on to some goals that I scored with this team. Uh, they're not the best goals. I only had about two or three hours to play with this team because uh, I was in a very tight schedule. Uh, so sorry if they're not up to my usual standard. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. At the end of this video, there will be a link to Fishy FIFA's video where he did his hybrid squad builder around Emanike, Sani Thola and Felipe Santana. I hope you guys go and check that out. And when you have checked both the videos out, make sure you vote. There's a link in the description to our Facebook page. Go ahead, click on that link and vote on which team you thought was the best. And hopefully I can win this time because I actually lost last time, which I'm very upset about. Uh, that's about it from me. I hope to see you guys next time.